You thought that colonial America was beautiful and everything was butterflies and rainbows. No, you are wrong. It was disgusting and death-filled. This animation video will provide you with the true information on the infinite sicknesses and odd medicines used in the colonial times. Brace yourself for some sickening stuff. Viewer discretion is advised. Thousands of colonists died. Everywhere you turned, there was either someone sick or someone dying. Imagine the smell. Ew. Diseases like smallpox, yellow fever, and diphtheria wiped out a humongous amount of colonists. Smallpox lasted for three to four days. Blisters would break out all over your body and your skin would peel off. Victims died of never-ending, vigorous pain. Diphtheria was a horrible, painful lung disease, and yellow fever was a disease caught by always pestering mosquitoes. There were also illnesses which involved blood. For example, hematomasis. Hematomasis is when you vomit blood, caused by internal bleeding, which sounds super disgusting. Do we even have that in present day? It's hard to, hard to imagine how hard it was to settle for the colonists since they had all those diseases, especially since our illnesses today are cured with professionally made medicines. The reason all these disgusting diseases had spread is more than likely because the colonists didn't wash themselves. We know today that that is extremely unsanitary. Colonial America should have been called the Colony of Disgusting. That would suit the colony. Of course, doctors would try and cure the colonists. They attempted this by making the patient bleed, which would not help. It only caused the patient to be lightheaded or go unconscious. Another way doctors tried curing patients was by making them vomit and making them have diarrhea, so doctors gave the colonists medicines which would cause them to do so. Imagine having a deadly disease and then throwing up trying to make it go away. The horror. Well, some other gross things are other cures doctors came up with. Colonists believed that the stronger the smell, the better the medicine, so doctors fed colonists broth of do boiled toads. Ew, that sounds gross. But what isn't gross in colonial America? And lastly, doctors did not wash their hands before and after treating a patient. That is probably how disease spread. Now on to specific medicines. Let's hope this is less, uh, gross. The top two medicines were two herbs, basil and chives. Basil would cure common inflammations in the body. Chives, however, negatively affects the brain and eyes, but is very good for the blood. Yay, nothing disgusting about herbs. At one point, the colonists had gone to Pennsylvania, New York, and Massachusetts. In those states, they camped out and dug cave-like homes. At night, bugs would crawl into their mouths. Now that is gross. Even other creepy crawlies like mice, rats, and snakes called those caves their homes. Ew. Obviously, colonial America definitely wasn't as beautiful as you thought it was. As you can see, in the beginning, America wasn't the best place to live or settle in because of disease and other horrible things such as bugs and infestation. But yes, it is a very interesting topic to explore, even if it's extremely, dis extremely disgusting. Hi, thank you so much for watching. This is my first official animation video and I'm so happy to be sharing it with my classmates and subscribers. I really hope you liked this and found it very interesting. If you thought it was gross, I don't blame you. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my first ever official animation video. Thank you to all my classmates, subscribers, and awesome social studies teacher for this opportunity. I wouldn't have had the motivation to animate all of this without all you guys. Again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you again next time on Maya Walker Studios.